What's up guys, Eric here with At Home in the Future. We check out the latest gear and gadgets for modern families. Hey, if you dig this video, make sure you hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this. All right, today we're gonna to talk about one of my absolute favorite topics, and that is EDC gear, everyday carry, the stuff you keep on you every day. So if you've watched any of our other videos before, you know I love gadgets, you know I love camping gear and adventure gear and that sort of stuff. Make sure you check out our truck EDC video where I show you all the crazy stuff I keep in my truck. Uh, but this video is gonna be all about how to craft an everyday carry that you barely notice. So one thing I've noticed on YouTube with everyday carry is that people love to carry stuff and they keep a ton of stuff on them, but they also so to do so have to carry bags and slings and uh, wear cargo pants all the time. They've stuffed every pocket to the gills with everything they can fit in it. But the way I approach EDC stuff is a little bit different. I try to get the gear that I need the most at the smallest size, at the highest quality, and carry it in a way that I barely notice it when I'm walking around. So today I'm gonna to show you three things, and these are the things I keep on me every day, the stuff that lives in my pockets. The second thing I'm gonna show you is my mini kit. This is the thing that normally lives in my, my backpack. If I'm going to work for the day, what are the essential items that's just nice to have? That's what's in my mini kit, so we'll show you that. And finally, I'm gonna show you what I call my MacGyver kit, and this is a slightly bigger kit that normally goes with me when I travel. It sometimes lives in my backpack too if I don't know what the day holds. So I'm gonna show you all that EDC stuff in the video. And if you look in the description, you can find links for where you can buy all of this stuff. So if you get some good ideas, uh, definitely go check this out. If you're into EDC, make sure you watch through the whole video because I promise you I've got some stuff in these kits that you haven't seen mentioned on YouTube before. So let's dive in and get things kicked off. All right, like any good EDC video, we're gonna start with the stuff that I actually carry on me every day. So not stuff that I carry in a little kit or in a bag or anything, but stuff I'm actually carrying in my pants or shorts or uh, on me in general. So um, first things first, we'll start with a wallet. Now, obviously I have car keys and a phone as well, but I feel like that's kind of boring to look at what I carry for that because everybody has wildly different variations of that stuff that just depends on the phone you like and the car you like. So. Uh, we'll start here with a wallet, and I just carry one of these simple uh, Herschel sleeves. Uh, the reason why I like these, they're still really thin. Uh, there's kind of a big EDC movement right now to do um, those little card stack wallets that have, you know, eight credit cards stacked in a little metal container or like a little elastic slide, but I actually like these quite a bit. I can still get all the cards I need in it. I can still get a little bit of cash in the middle. Uh, but it's still really thin, it has RFID protection. Um, I like it that it's actually still a little bit pliable too. It's not metal, it's not hard to sit on, so I keep this in my back right pocket uh, no matter what I'm wearing, but uh, really easy to manage. I've had a few of these wallets, they hold up great, so I've been really happy with these over the years. So um, a Herschel wallet is uh, kind of my first place to start. So I'd say the other essential, if I'm leaving the house, the things that always come with me are my wallet and then a knife. Um, so my knife of choice, Right now um, is the Benchmade uh, 940. So this is the kind of the classic 940 Osborne Benchmade. Now I resisted this knife for, for the longest time. I always heard um, these knife guys recommend this thing, but man, this has been such a great knife. It's so comfortable to hold. Um, I like all the metal jimping up here on the top um, and a little groove down here for my index finger. It just fits so well in my hand. So. This is actually kind of a limited drop. It may still be available, I'm not sure, uh, but I got it from Blade HQ. But it has these um, natural non-dyed uh, G10 scales. I think this is like M4 steel or something like that. It's a little bit difficult to sharpen, but what I really like about these Benchmades, um, beyond just the reputation for quality and just how um, great they feel in the hand, is I really love this access lock. I like being able to flick these things open and close it with one hand. So no matter what, it's super easy to use. You can hold it down, you can flip it out. It's hard to do on video. <laughs> um, but as somebody who uses their knife every day, all the time, several times a day, there's kind of a pleasure that comes from a knife that you just enjoy the feel of it, enjoy um, how it feels in your hand and everything. Just a really good knife. So it is a little bit pricey. This is something if you're just starting out with knives, you may not want to immediately go for um, unless you know um, it's going to be something you carry for a long time. But I've always been really, really happy with this knife. I'd say a great second place knife, and the knife I carried for the longest time before this was also a Benchmade, and that is the Benchmade Bug Out. So this is, I think it's like the 535 in their lineup, um, but this is the blacked out version of the Bug Out. Um, now I forgot to mention with the other knife, both of these are really light. Um, the Osborne is a little bit heavier. This one is notoriously light, so light that it actually freaks some people out. <laughs> like it's. Uh, it almost feels like the handles could be um, not the best quality. Uh, I don't feel any flex or anything with mine, but this knife is killer because it is so, so light. It's easy to sharpen. It feels really good in the hand. 
has that same access lock, lock system, so really easy to open and close one-handed. Uh, so I've always been a big fan of this. And I carried this for the longest time before I fell in love um, with that Osborne down there. And I still really love this, this knife. So if I'm going out somewhere where I want as little as possible weighing down my pockets, uh, this knife is so light that for like shorts in the summer, it's normally just my wallet and this knife, um, and that gets the job done. So the Benchmade bug out, you can't go wrong. There's a gajillion different colors of those. Um, you can find great deals, There's even the mini version of this. But this is a fantastic knife. This one's, uh, the other one I didn't mention was should be around, I don't know, a little over $200. You can find these for around $150, $170, depending on which uh, colorway you want in it. So again, expensive for a knife if you're new to knives, but if you're an EDC person, your knife is kind of like, I don't know, your showpiece, the main thing that you feel like kind of gives you your character. So let me show you a slightly less expensive knife is one more option. And I don't carry this one um, as much anymore, but the Spyderco Delica, when I started carrying just a knife by itself, uh, this is the knife that I went for. It's relatively inexpensive. I've seen them go between $60 and $90, um, and it kind of has that classic Spyderco quality. Um, where it, Now, I can't do the spidey hole flick that a lot of people do. It kind of freaks me out with this. Uh, but man, this thing, it still feels really, really good in the hand. Uh, the only thing I don't like about this, and one of the reasons I switched and kind of got pulled over to the Benchmade side of things was I love that access lock part of those. This is just kind of your standard back lock. So to close it, I know there's some folks that can do it one-handed. It still takes me two hands to close this thing, which is something I didn't like just from getting it out and putting it back together. It, really easy to open, but you kind of have to push down that little back scale. But this is a great budget knife. It's VG10 still. Um, it's, it really can't go wrong with this. A lot of, if you're getting a starter knife, this is a hard place to go wrong. Just uh, budget-minded, feels good in the po pocket. It does sit just a little bit wide when you use that clip in the back and it kind of pokes out a little bit. You can get different clips for these things, but um, yeah, that's the Spyderco Delica 4. There may be a Delica 5 right now. I'm not sure. I'm going to put links for all of this down in the description, but that's a really cool knife to start with. Okay, let's say you live in a place where carrying a knife on you isn't an option. I'm going to show you a killer little tool that um, if I can't take a knife somewhere, this is always in my pocket, and that is uh, the Lynch Northwest All Access Pass. Now, this is kind of a recent acquisition here. This is something I kept seeing um, in all these EDC discussions and videos and forums, and I was like, what is this thing? It's so cool. Uh, but this is a limited drop item. It's a solid titanium pry bar. Uh, that has like a little bottle opener thing here. It's got a little nail pull. It's got a pry thing. All these things that you're not supposed to do with your knife that everybody tries to do with their knives. This is the answer to that. Um, it feels incredible in the hand. The jimping on the top uh, just feels awesome. The designs, you can tell each of these things um, are kind of a limited drop where Casey, the guy that makes these, puts all these incredible finishes and stuff on this. But this thing is insanely light. Again, if it's something where you're out and like, I don't know, shorts in the summer, you want little to carry at all. Um, kind of like this bug out knife. This is a great option if you're going somewhere where you don't want a blade or you can't have a blade. Um, it feels so nice and just such a cool design. Uh, also, I'd say this thing actually wins the award for the coolest packaging. Just the whole unboxing experience of getting this thing and getting it in the mail, just custom stamps all over the place. A really really cool item like I said this is something if I can't have a knife this will ride in my pocket and otherwise it rides in the little mini kit um, I'm going to show you guys later on so uh, that's the Lynch Northwest all access pass this is the 1.6 version there's a tons of different versions of these and all the different colorways and everything uh, definitely worth checking out insanely light insanely cool very cool item so that's uh, everything that would typically ride in my back right pocket jeans uh, shorts no matter what it's gonna be a knife, a wallet, or if I can't carry a knife, it'll be the all access pass. All right, let's move on to other pockets. Now, uh, my front left pocket is typically the pocket I keep my keys. And the only other thing I keep in there is a uh, tube of chapstick, actually. <laughs> so, uh, Burt's Bees, you can't go wrong. Uh, I know a bunch of people have different brands of stuff they dig and everything, but this stuff just, um, I don't know. I go through this every few months, I'll change out tubes and everything, but always good uh, to have on you. So that is my favorite thing there. That's really all that ever rides in my front left pocket. I like to keep it kind of light. All right, let's move over to the back left pocket. If I'm wearing some pants or shorts, I actually have one. So I don't always keep something in my back left pocket. Um, again, with everything I'm carrying, I like to keep it super light. I don't like feeling like my pockets are way down or looking like I'm a crazy person carrying a ton of stuff. Um, but if I'm carrying stuff in that back pocket, it's two items. Uh, the first is a recent discovery, uh, which are these awesome um, Hanks from Mighty Hanks. 
Um, I'll tell you more about these. This is a really, really cool product that um, I didn't even know I really needed before I saw it, um, actually on another YouTube video. Um, and I think actually Instagram, I kept seeing these in people's knife shots or people do pocket dumps and show you all the stuff they're carrying. But Mighty Hanks, guys, these things are just the most awesome thing to carry around with you. Um, super lightweight. Again, that's kind of a theme of these things. Just top-notch um, construction and uh, sewing that goes into these. But it's not just a piece of fabric. It is a small piece of fabric, and it's thin and everything. Uh, but for one thing, the patterns are really cool, and you can use it to wipe down stuff like you think. But the real secret is this backside, which is this awesome... Uh, kind of a microfiber material here. I think the original intent was to be able to like wipe down knife blades and just keep your stuff looking nice, but where this really comes into handy, especially if you work on your phone or work on your computer quite a bit, is wiping down screens. Now, I don't wear glasses. I'm sure this would be awesome for that as well, but this microfiber is awesome for getting smudges and stuff off. Uh, but these Mighty Hanks are absolutely killer, a great addition to have, take up absolutely no pocket space because they basically just fold flat. And their designs are super, super cool. This is just like a tiny selection of random stuff here. You can get kind of a classier thing with more of a uh, flannel feeling cloth here. Uh, same thing for this um, awesome kind of outdoorsy tree pattern. Um, I like these fun nautical things that have like giant squids and sea creatures destroying ships and stuff on them. Just really, really fun. An awesome American-made company, really good folks to support. So Mighty Hanks, super cool, well worth your time, worth checking out. And that's one of the things I keep in my back pocket. Now the other item I keep in my back left pocket the most is a pen. And man, I'm telling you, if you're into pens at all, you will not find a cooler pen uh, than the folks at Tactile Turn. Um, I recently got this awesome, uh, I think this is their mini pen. It's the, the smallest one they make. Uh, but this is pure titanium and it's just one, it looks super cool. I don't know if you can tell in the video there, but it has just these crazy ridges um, everywhere that make it super, super grippy. But this thing is like probably one of the best constructed things I own uh, from the pocket clip to how it's placed together. But the coolest thing is this bolt action um, element right here. And there's other bolt action pins out there. I actually have another one in the kit I'm going to show you here, but nothing comes anywhere close to how clicky and fidgety this thing is. I don't know if you can tell that there, but it's one of those things when you take it out of your pocket to like sign a form or do something with, you really kind of can't quit playing with it for a while to the point where people are like, hey, can you put that up? <laughs> it is super fun to have, just top notch uh, assembly and stuff. And see, so you can't even tell where you actually unscrew it to replace the ink cartridge. Like the tolerances are so tight on these. Um, and this is another one of those companies that's all about limited edition drops and everything. So if you don't like the look of this, there's a tons of different colors and metals you can get on this. Um, they typically do, like every quarter, there's a limited edition model that'll have different features. Uh, they got click pins, they got everything you could want. But tactile turn, if you're gonna carry a pin, uh, this is an awesome choice. Now again, it's a premium choice. It's something that um, you wanna carry with you just kind of for the pleasure of having a really nice item. If you're looking for a budget option, um, the thing I carried for the longest time before that is a classic Fisher Space Pen. This is just their simple one. You can get some with clips as well, but these just unscrew and fold and just kind of press together to make a longer pen element. Um, now, they're known for being able to write everywhere, which is a great quality. I find that the ink, I don't enjoy how the writing actually looks as these as much. The ink always looks a little bit pale to me or a little bit dim, uh, especially compared to some of the refills you get uh, for a tactile turn pen, but these are great budget pens. I think these are less than 20 bucks most of the time. Um, easily fit in the pocket and slide in and out, so that's another great option, but that's what I keep in my back left pocket is always a hank and a pen. Okay, so we've covered both of my back pockets. We've covered my front left pocket, which not much is in there, just, you know, keys and a chapstick. So my front right pocket is the one I use the most, and that's mostly just because that's where my phone goes. So um, if I happen to have pants on or shorts on that had that little fifth pocket, a thing you never do anything with, that is like actually one of the best spots to put some extra EDC stuff that you might use. Now, again, you don't want much weighing that down, so you want it to be small stuff. But uh, the biggest thing I find carrying in that pocket more than anything is this tiny little Leatherman Squirt uh, PS4. Uh, now, I used to carry a, a larger Leatherman, you'll see later in this video. I used to carry that instead of just a dedicated knife, um, but eventually it was, I mean, it's like four times the weight of carrying a knife, so I got tired of doing that. But I find myself missing all these tiny little tools that I'll, I'd only use randomly anyway. I find myself missing those, and this little squirt tool is the perfect answer. The reason why is because it includes this tiny little pair of pliers. Now these actually work extremely well and for most cases this is really all you need. If you just need to grab something and twist something or snip a little wire or a cord or something like that, it's a great option. 
and this thing folds up really, really small. The other thing I like about this is the other tools that are on it. There's a little file on here that I use frequently. Uh, there's tiny little screwdrivers um, that get the job done most of the time. There's another little flathead there. I think a tiny little bottle opener. That thing's probably the only suspect tool on here. It's not all that useful. Um, I also love it has a tiny pair of scissors. Um, but the great thing about this is all these little tools that you'll find on it are all outside accessible. So you can get to them really quick. You don't have to. Uh, there's another model that's really cool. Uh, another, the Leatherman Micro, which actually has a pair of scissors instead of these little uh, pliers. But I like having the pliers better. And I also like having the little tools accessible on the outside. So you don't have to open this whole thing up. Uh, just to pull out a little screwdriver that sort of thing so this is a great fifth pocket tool reasonably inexpensive i think it's only about 35 bucks on amazon lots of different colors but that's a great little tool uh, the other tool that i like to keep in that fifth pocket again not every day but if i'm gone at work for the day or somewhere where i think i might need it i always like to carry a flashlight with me uh, now the one that i use the most right now this is kind of a new tool for me but this is a tiny little night core um, teeny two or tiny two i don't know how you pronounce it but this tiny little light, itty bitty, look how small that Leatherman was. Look how tiny that is compared to that. Um, compared to a knife, actually chapstick would probably be the better comparison here. Even compared to a tube of chapstick, really small. But what I like about this light, you have instant access to 500 lumens with this thing. Crazy, crazy bright. And then you have all these different modes where you can cycle through. And if you notice here, there's actually a little screen as you toggle through these modes um, that'll show you like how much light output you're getting, how many lumens, and how long that mode will last when you have it on. So really cool tool. It, it uh, recharges with USB-C, which is handy on the sides, so it lasts a long time. Uh, but with 200 lumens on it, you can get about 45 minutes of that in this tiny little light, which is awesome. Uh, these range about 40 bucks. Another great choice, um, and the option that I used a long time before that was just a simple AAA light. Uh, this is one from uh, Phoenix, the LD02. There may be an updated model now, but um, this treated me well for the longest time. 120 lumens, lasts about an hour, had a nice uh, tail click where you can do different levels and stuff on that. But uh, if you're going to carry a light, um, which actually is still a good idea, even though there's a light on your cell phone, uh, that is a great option. Either of those lights, these are the two that I use the most, though, carrying in that fifth pocket. All right, as we wrap up the EDC stuff, I carry on me almost every day. I want to give you kind of a wild card thing that I like to keep on me um, if I'm wearing, I guess, short sleeves. Um, and that would be this tiny little survival bracelet thing. I think it's called the GTFO. Um, this is a recent thing I found, but it does two things. One, I mean, it's just like a simple little thing you can have on. It just looks like a little black band, uh, but I always wear an Apple Watch, so I normally have this on beside it. But it looks simple, but it has two key functions. Uh, the first is this little thing right here. If you notice, this thing is stretchy. This is actually a little carbide rock thing that um, supposedly you can break tempered glass with it. So in the scenario that you're trapped in a car wreck or something like that, you can actually break through the glass by stretching this out and snapping that carbide against the glass. So a really cool little tool to have on. The other one, I don't know if you can tell or see what this little thing is, but this is actually a little handcuff key. So I don't plan on getting kidnapped or abducted or whatever else, but it's just fun having little extra tools like that as part of uh, just an accent piece that you wear every day. So yeah, that brings us to the end of the stuff that I wear or carry on me every day. Um, wallet, knives, um, chapstick, these little hanks, pins, lights, little multi-tools, great lightweight options. That's the key here, lightweight, um, reasonably priced but stuff you actually want to carry on you every day and you wouldn't really notice. These are the things that stay with me the most. So let's go check out the kits that I use to augment this stuff. Okay, if you skipped the first part of the video, we just covered all the stuff that I actually keep on me every day or almost every day, all the different items, knives and uh, multi-tools and that sort of stuff. So in this part of the video, we're gonna talk about these two mini kits that I've made that kind of augment that stuff. So these are the two kits right here. Um, you notice one's significantly smaller than the other. This one's about a pound and a half. This one's probably four or five pounds, depending on what's in it or if I move stuff um, from kit to kit. So. Uh, this is generally the kit that lives in my backpack, and this is the one we're going to go through first. But um, this is the kit that I use if I know that I'm just kind of having a normal office day or nothing unexpected all that much. Just something where I want to have some tools and handy stuff with me. Uh, this is the one that I keep around for that purpose. This one is more of the kitchen sink kit. So um, maybe I know my day is going to be a little bit different, or I'm traveling and want to take some tools and stuff with me. This is kind of like my MacGyver kit. I don't know what I'm going to need, but I might need it, so it's going to be in here. But 
Uh, for the first part here, we're going to spend our time going through this little mini kit. So this is just a little mini pouch from Maxpedition. You can get these on Amazon. Again, I'll put links to all this stuff down in the description, but it's got a little hanger if you wanted to hang it on something for some reason. But uh, right off the bat, you'll notice two things I keep in the front here, and that is this little moleskin uh, notebook in case you just need something to write on. Um, moleskin stuff's always really nice. The paper, for some reason, feels nicer than other stuff, but there's a nice small one that fit in this kit well. I keep that around me. And I also keep um, a little pen just in case I don't happen to have like my tactile turn pen or the other one with me. I keep this little titanium pen from the awesome folks at Big Idea Designs. Now, remember that name because you're going to hear a lot about them here in a minute as we talk more about this kit. But this is just a little simple bolt action pen. Uh, it doesn't have the crazy snappy action that like a tactile turn does. But uh, if you're in a pinch and need something to write with, this is lightweight. Um, gets the job done. A really cool little pen. It's got even got a little Damascus bolt on it, which is really cool. So. Uh, those are the first two items uh, that live in this kit. Um, so let's unzip it and see what else is going on inside. So right off the bat, you're going to notice a theme, and that is we got some awesome stuff in here from the folks at Big Idea Designs. Uh, what I really like is they make these tiny, compact tools that are actually kind of hard work tools, uh, but they're small, they're well made, uh, they're mostly made with titanium materials too, so they're pretty light. Uh, so we'll go through those first as we talk about these tools in the, right in the inside of the kit here. So the first one, um, this is probably my most used item in this kit, and this is the bit bar inline. Um, and so while it may look about the size of like an EDC pin or something like that, this is actually a killer little screwdriver. Um, kind of listen to that satisfying action when you slide that stuff in. Uh, but it's got like a titanium tool out here. It's got these nice big replaceable bits that just use, you know, simple tool bits. If you want to carry specialty bits with you, you can. Uh, but you'll see they live um, down here in this handle where you can pop stuff out. I keep a little uh, hex bit, a flathead, and a Phillips. The Phillips is what I tend to use the most. But um, it's a great little grippy screwdriver that you can really um, get a good grip on. Better than almost any multi-tool screwdriver that you'll use um, as far as just feeling good and filling up to the task. You actually want to use this <laughs> to put something together and take stuff apart. Um, it kind of replaces the full-size screwdriver. But the biggest secret with this thing that I really like, you'll notice these cutouts right here. It will give you kind of a right angle uh, grip if you need a lot of torque. The thing I use the most though is if you <laughs> kind of have a tough thing where you really need to put all your pressure on something to push into it, maybe a screw is lightly stripped and you really want to get in there, it gives you this nice confident T-handle grip where you can get in there and put all of your effort into screwing and unscrewing stuff. So an awesome tool from the folks at Big Idea Design, um, the bit bar inline, a really cool tool. So that's one of my favorite things in this kit and the things I use the most. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at their other tools. Uh, this one here is their classic uh, TPT slide tool. So you see a lot of the big EDC guys on YouTube talk about these. Uh, a lot of folks carry this instead of a knife. I guess some people feel less threatened uh, seeing <laughs> like a little box cutter blade. Um, instead of a flip out knife or something like that. But this is a great tool, again, really lightweight. Um, what I like is I'm tearing down a whole bunch of boxes and don't want to dull my knife. This is a great tool for that. These blades are super cheap and replaceable. Uh, so a really cool little tool. It also has a little bit of a pry bar here in the end, um, a little space where you can use, um, I guess, a hex wrench attachment there, but a cool tool for that. Now they say that little blade, and you see how it kind of has those little notches in it that are strange. They say that's meant to be like a camping fork. Um, I don't know if I have much confidence in eating off that. That kind of freaks me out, but um, just a little piece of utility there. Also, the opening there is supposed to be a wrench and a pinch as well, where you can, um, I guess, put that around a bolt to turn stuff. But that's another cool tool from the folks at Big Idea Designs. And then another one that I find myself um, kind of forgetting about until I need it, but then this thing is awesome in a pinch. And it's just a little um, EDC wrench, titanium wrench that they make um, that has all these different sizes. You can see the whole scale on here of all the different um, size bolts you can get this thing around. Now, looking at it, you wouldn't think that this thing is going to be all that useful or really give you the torque you need, but it is super, super confident. Um, one thing I like about this is it's actually better than some larger wrenches. Um, and you're probably going to see one here later in this video, but um, I found it a little bit more useful in situations where I didn't have much room to work or I needed to kind of get in tight where I couldn't get the tool metal around a bolt. Um, this is a great little tool to use in a pinch and it stays confident. You put it on the bolt and that thing really doesn't move at all unless you want it to over here. Um, it's just a top-notch tool 
that is well built, has a nice pocket clip. And this may even be something if you live in um, or if you work at a job where you could use this sort of tool on a daily basis, this might be a great thing to have in your pocket, just like you carry a knife every day. So that is the titanium adjust adjustable EDC wrench um, from the folks at Big Idea Designs. So a tool that's well worth your time. Pretty cool stuff here. So. Uh, if you watched earlier in the video, you already saw this awesome little tool here. This is the um, All Access Pass by Lynch Northwest. Again, they have a lot of different models of these pry bars, but it's all titanium. It's all American made. It's got the coolest um, titanium finish on here that kind of fades um, in and out. as a really cool sheen to it. Awesome bottle openers. Probably one of the best bottle openers you'll find in any one of these tools. But uh, if you need to pry something, if you need to even, this also works pretty good, honestly, to open boxes. Um, like I mentioned earlier in the video, if I'm not carrying a knife or going somewhere where I can't, this is a great alternative because it's not threatening, uh, but you can still kind of, you know, cut packaging tape and get into stuff. I guess that's why they call it the all access pass. You can really get into just about anything. You pop nails open, do all that. Just an awesome, awesome tool from the folks at Lynch Northwest. So well worth your time there. Very cool item. And then the last thing we have in this main, uh, I guess the front part of this pouch here, <laughs> this is something I picked up recently. It's kind of ridiculous, uh, but kind of cool too. It's the Tack and Tweez um, from Civivi. Uh, but this tiny, look how small this thing is. Tiny little tool here. Um, it's just a pair of really nice um, tweezers. So if you're in a situation where you need tweezers, you need to, I don't know, peel a label off or do something like that, this is a great little tool to have. Really cool item. It has a nice bronze finish. It looks like it's been bead blasted or sand blasted to get a cool texture, but a really fun little bonus item that I keep in this kit weighs nothing at all. Um, just awesome. So cool little item to have there from Civivi. All right, let's get into these little back pockets here because there's actually a lot more stuff in this kit uh, that you can't really see just by looking at it. Um, so we'll start here on the left side. We just have some good old fashioned zip ties, useful for a thousand different scenarios and different things. These are just cheap ones from Harbor Freight. So if you want to pick some of these up, you can put them in all sorts of kits, keep them in your car. Great item to have all the time. So just a few little zip ties here. Uh, these little mini Bic lighters are absolutely awesome. Um, just last forever. Um, pretty killer. Um, you know, anytime you need to light a candle or do practically anything, anything involving fire, uh, it doesn't get easier than a Bic lighter. So there's more, um, I guess, bushcrafty survival ways to do this stuff. But for the sake of this kit, just a nice thing to have in there. Um, another thing you see poking out right here. Um, is a great item. I just added this recently actually, and this is just some uh, Kevlar rope. Uh, so instead of carrying paracord, which is great, but too bulky for this kit here, uh, this little Kevlar rope weighs absolutely nothing. Uh, still like 200 pound test, so it can hold quite a bit of, of weight um, or be strong. You need to wrap something up to hold, but you never know what you need cordage for, but this is a great option. Uh, this is pretty inexpensive on Amazon. Uh, the, the kind of order doesn't come with much for what you're paying for it, but it's a good option to have. Um, and here's, uh, <laughs> I guess, one of the biggest tools you could possibly use and just some good old fashioned quality duct tape. Uh, this is just wrapped around an old gift card, uh, probably, you know, six or eight feet there. I'm not sure how much it was when I wrapped it on there. It's not something to buy. Again, it's something I went out and kind of made with my, um, my own stuff I already had, but awesome to have a little thing of duct tape. Again, weighs absolutely nothing, but Man, this stuff is so handy, and I like that it's so bright, too. I kind of like to choose these brighter um, kinds in case for some reason I needed something to, I don't know, draw attention to something, or X marks a spot, or who knows. <laughs> Having a bit of duct tape like that um, is a great thing to have for that. So I think that's everything on this side, yeah. Uh, so if you see on the other side right away, you're gonna see um, a great little flashlight, um, and this is held on with a little Night Eyes S-clip, one of these little things, which these are great to have, too, for all sorts of things, but this is the, 1R EOS from Olight, uh, 120 lumen little light, itty bitty. Used to live in my keychain, but now that I'm carrying some of those other lights, I don't carry it um, anymore. But um, the great thing about this is twist to turn on, but also recharges with a little micro USB thing. I think some of the newer models may ch charge with a better port there. So cool little light to have, puts out a lot of light uh, for what it is, but super light, really tiny, perfect for a kit like this. So a good option to have up there. So. Now on this side, I believe, let me see if there's anything else. Nope. This side is just my little kind of medical pat yourself up kit um, with a bunch of little items. We won't go too into this because you can tell it's just typical stuff that you would carry, um, like band-aids and that sort of thing. So um, just a few little useful items in here. Um, I carry just a small pair of earplugs. You never know when that would be useful, but um, it's always good to have these things lying around. I carry this tiny little med kit, and this is just 
ibuprofen, some Sudafed, and like um, I think some Imodium or something like that in there. So uh, again, this is just meant to be the at the office, going to work every day, the simple stuff. This is the kit to get me through that. So Band-Aids are in here, always great to have. This is a cool little product um, actually received from iCloth, um, these little uh, packs of screen wipes. So it's a pre-treated little wipe designed to clean off any sort of screen, so laptops and phones or iPads and that sort of thing. This thing works absolutely awesome. So if your laptop gets as gross as mine does, having one of these handy every now and then on you is a great thing to have. Um, these tiny little things here, you may recognize these from my truck EDC video, but these are these little uh, towel tabs that expand with water. If you ever need a towel, I guess to scrub stuff or clean stuff or wipe your hands down, you need something more thorough than just a wipe. Um, these are great, they, they weigh absolutely nothing. Your kids also will think these are the coolest thing in the world. So just throwing that out there. Um, and the last two items um, in the kit here are just fun ones. Uh, a wet ones wipe. Um, you know, these are one of these things I didn't really feel like I needed until I was a dad. And then I just find myself using these all the time. So whether or not your kids get gross, whether or not your hands are gross from doing stuff or eating ribs or something, I don't know. Um, these are awesome. They smell great. They kill germs. So it's awesome in the world we live in right now. But buy a whole big mess of these on Amazon and put them everywhere you need them. You'll use them constantly. So I keep an extra in this kit. Um, and th this is something I actually received, uh, I think in a scout box recently, um, but I keep on me just in case. Again, I don't ever expect to use this little kit in a survival scenario, but it's great to have stuff just in case. And this is a little water purifying thing. Um, it says it cleans up to two and a half gallons of water, but this is one of those things where if you got gross pond water or something, you can just pour it in and stir it and it separates all the gunk and leaves you drinkable water. So. A great little extra thing that weighs absolutely nothing. Uh, that's kind of how it works there. Weighs absolutely nothing. A great extra thing to keep in the kit. So that is it for this little mini kit here. Again, this is the one that tends to live in my backpack. If I just expect to have a normal day where I'm going to the office and back and don't expect to run into too much trouble, this is the kit I keep with me. And it gets me out of 99, 98% of the stuff I could run into on a daily basis. But um, let's go look at the really fun stuff and go look at that big kitchen sink MacGyver kit. All right, so we've talked about the stuff I carry on me every day. The little mini kit I keep in my backpack. Um, it's time to bring out the big guns. <laughs> so this is, uh, I kind of call this my MacGyver kit. This is just my bigger kit here, which is still really small, by the way, guys. Uh, this is a VanQuest bag. Um, I'll put the link to the model in the uh, description down below. But a uh, really great bag, but I try to fit as much stuff in here as I possibly could. I think I have over 50 different uh, items in here, and every one has a purpose. Uh, so we'll dive into this. But I will say, this is the kit that, that little mini kit's no big deal. Normally the stuff I keep on me doesn't roll any eyes, but this is the kit when I bring it out. This is the kind of stuff that makes people think you're crazy. <laughs> so if you make a kit like this, this is the thing that you probably don't want to bring out unless you really need it, um, unless you want to get some strange looks from your coworkers and that sort of thing. So let's dive into this thing. Before we open it up, uh, there's a space in the back that has some molly webbing if you want to attach it to something. Uh, right now I'm just using that to attach these little uh, cheapo Velcro uh, ties that you can get at Harbor Freight. Those are great. In the front pocket here, I'm not going to pull it out. It's actually kind of hard to get in and out in case you need it, but I actually have a 13 gallon um, trash bag in the front. So you never know when you're going to need that, but let's unzip it and see all the cool stuff that is inside of this thing. Uh, so right off the bat, if you make a kit like this, um, if you're into EDC stuff at all, this is actually a really fun project to go through and try to pick all the stuff that you need in a kit like this. Um, so let's see lots of different items. I'll take you through each one. Let's get going here. So the first is probably actually my most recent addition, and that is this small little Nipex wrench, uh, which is just great. It adjusts to like a ton of different sizes. You can see how wide that thing gets, but uh, Nipex tools, they're expensive, but they're top quality. It weighs next to nothing, but man, you can really get a grip on stuff. They also have a Cobra model that has little teeth and stuff in it, but I use these uh, more than anything else. I have a bigger set in my workbench too, but uh, it's an awesome little set to have, made in Germany, top quality, but if you need a little wrench to get a hold of something that you really need to clamp down and get a good, good grip on, you can see how tiny this thing is. Awesome little addition to the kit here. So that's item number one. We've got a simple little whistle. I think this came from a survival kit or one of the uh, subscription boxes I get. Always good to have a whistle, tons of different uses for that. Um, keep simple. These little Micron pens are awesome. These are actually what I use to um, make notes in my Bible. I just really like how they write. Um, these are great uh, pens just to if you have to write something that feels nice or looks nice, those are a great option. Sharpie, of course, is self-explanatory. If you're packaging something up and need to mail it, um, hard to go wrong with a Sharpie there. Um, as far as lights go, you notice there's redundancy in all my stuff here. I've got lights and multiple kits. I like to carry lights on me, uh, but this is a uh, Olight S1 Baton Mini. 
uh, great little light, hundreds and hundreds of lumens this thing puts out, lasts forever, uh, rechargeable battery inside, awesome light. Also is magnetic on the end. Um, this is actually the model that has like a really good color accuracy. Uh, but magnetic on the end, so if you need to stick it under a car or get something metal while you're working to give yourself almost like a, a makeshift lantern, great option to have. Again, tiny and lightweight, that's the theme here. Um, little bottle of Visine, my eyes get dry, so obviously good to have. You don't think about this sort of stuff until you have it on you, then I use this thing kind of all the time, so um, a great little item to have there. Uh, this is a water filter. Again, I, I don't expect to need it, but since this is the kit, I don't think I mentioned that earlier actually, this is the kit I kind of take with me if I don't know what my workday is gonna hold or I'm traveling, definitely if I'm traveling, this is like the travel kit. Throw it in the car, throw it in a bag when you're um, going somewhere new or somewhere um, you could have some adventure going on. This will answer all sorts of different scenarios for you, but this is a little Frontier water filter. Um, it's not as good as something like a Sawyer filter, but it fit well in this kit. And I think it can filter like 50 or 100 gallons of water. There's a little straw back here that attaches with it, but a good item to have just in case. Um, this is a fun one that, this is another one of those items that I use like all the time, at least once or twice a week, I feel like I'm using this. Now you probably can't guess what this is from looking at it, but it's actually just a nice little pair of collapsible scissors. So if I needed a bigger set of scissors than what's in my little um, Leatherman squirt that I carry in my fifth pocket, um, these little scissors are great, especially good for like cutting paper and stuff, but it's a handy thing to have that collapses really tiny, itty bitty cool little item you can find on Amazon. Again, I'll put a link down below, but um, awesome item there. And this is um, my multi-tool I keep in this kit, um, which is the beloved Leatherman Skeletal. This is the CX model. Um, you can get the blade open and closed with one hand, which I liked. I actually carried this on me for the longest time before I carried a separate knife, uh, but eventually realized that even though this is a lightweight multi-tool, it's still kind of heavy to keep in a pocket all the time. But it's got a pair of pliers and wire cutters, um, which are really nice. It's got uh, a screwdriver with replaceable bits here, which we'll get to in just a second. You can carry an extra bit here in the spine. Um, it has, um, let's see, it's got a carabiner down at the end if you need that, a bottle opener, which is kind of an awkward bottle opener to use, but um, if you're looking for a great multi-tool um, that's lightweight, uh, looks cool, really affordable. These I think are only about 60 bucks, really a great option. So that's the multi-tool I keep here in this kit. We'll kind of put this up here. Now, uh, we'll switch over to the other side and talk about, first, the accessories for that, which is Leatherman's Bit Kit. So I have it condensed down here into two little wedges, but this gives you just about every little bit you could conceivably need to get into just about anything. I've rarely encountered anything that I needed to get into, unless it was like a specialty electronic screw or something, like opening a Nintendo. Those always use weird screws. But uh, this is an awesome accessory to have if you have a Leatherman. Keep one handy, keep one near you. but. Again, just about anything you can encounter um, can be answered with a Leatherman bit kit there. So we'll add that there. Um, let's go down this side of things. So right off the bat, we've got just a little cheapo carabiner. Just if you need to hang something up somewhere, it's handy to have. Um, we have this little tied to go mini stick, which again is another item you probably wouldn't think of to have on you, but if you get a stain, spill coffee on yourself, or I don't know, all those things that happen in life or happen with your kids, oh my gosh, your kids especially, uh, these little guys can save the day. It works like a little Sharpie marker. You just push it down and it squirts out the um, tied stuff and just really helps some stains um, keep from setting in. So cool little item to have there. Um, of course, we talked about this from the mini kit, but a tiny Bic lighter. I have other fire starting things in this one because this is the MacGyver kit, but a Bic can't go wrong with that. So there's normally a tube of super glue sitting right here. Uh, but a week ago when I was using one, I think I completely used it up and I haven't replaced it yet. So I need to head to Harbor Freight and get a replacement there. Um, now I work with electronics quite a bit, so having a little memory stick. I need to get a USB-C stick. This is just the old-fashioned um, USB 3.1 or whatever it is, but um, these things come in handy. Sometimes the internet isn't always there, so having this sort of stuff is a nice uh, little thing to have. Same thing for um, phone chargers. This one has two USB ports. I probably need to upgrade this to one that has a USB-C port as well, since that's kind of taking over the world right now. But um, always handy to have one of these. This is an item I bet you haven't seen in anybody's uh, little adventure kits or EEC kits. And that's these tiny little um, earplugs called dubs. They're actually, they brand them as acoustic filters, but if you've ever been in a loud environment for a long period of time and the next day, or the next few days, your ears are just ringing like crazy, these tiny little earplugs, they kind of popped out there, 
but what they do is they, they don't block sound completely, but they reduce sound um, by about 20 or 30 decibels. So if you're at a concert, for instance, which is where I typically would use these, um, it helps you still hear the music. Everything still sounds great. It just doesn't roast your ears, <laughs> so you get here for the next week. Awesome little item. I keep these on me because you just never know when you're, you're going to be around something super loud for a long period of time. These are a great thing that can help you out with that. So they're from Doppler Labs, um, another little thing you can get on Amazon. So cool item to have. Um, a little tape measure. I can't tell you how often I use this thing. You need to hang something up in a wall. You need to, I don't know, measure something to get a print job done. Uh, just having one of these little six foot measures um, is an indispensable little item. Same thing for duct tape. This is one of those tiny little rolls. Um, this one has seen <laughs> better days. It's been beat up and well used and well loved. But again, I use this stuff in a pinch all the time, not only to, to hang stuff up or to fix things, but to mark stuff if I need to. I like getting a bright color. You remember seeing that bright orange also in my little uh, mini kit, but love good duct tape. So uh, the last thing you'll see here, I'll just, well, I'll go ahead and take it out. Why not? Uh, I've got a good hank of paracord right here. This is about, I think, 10 feet of paracord. So you may remember from my mini kit, I had that Kevlar rope uh, that was really nice, but it's hard to go wrong with a good giant thing of uh, paracord that holds a ton of weight and is super strong, do all sorts of stuff with. I got just small enough so it fits down there in the corner of that kit. So awesome item to have there, good thing of paracord. So let's get into these pockets. Lots of fun stuff to discover here still. So just like my mini kit, um, and this, I also have a little med bag full of all sorts of stuff. We won't get into this, the video won't be six hours long, but aspirin, acetaminophen, um, Imodium, there's some ibuprofen free floating down there, band-aids and all that stuff. It's hard to tell, you can kind of see it if I squish it apart there, but lots of little stuff that could come in handy. I threw in one of those little sticks. There's a safety pin in there, lots of little medical related stuff just in case. I'm typically, uh, my truck has a huge, if you watch my truck EDC video, has a huge, really extensive first aid kit. I'm normally not too far from that, but if I'm traveling in a hotel or something like that, that normally um, takes care of most stuff there. So that's that kit. Um, I've got a little field notes notebook. Uh, these things are always coming in handy and everything. This is a Montana edition, um, but lots of little notes from all sorts of things in here. I like being graph paper too. Sometimes that's handy uh, if you need to plan stuff out. So a good simple item to keep with you down here. Let's see what else we got. We've got, okay, this is again for travel stuff. This is a little cloth reviver. It kind of works like Febreze. You rub it on something. Um, maybe you were at an airport and ate at a Mexican restaurant or something and don't want to smell like a Mexican restaurant later. This is a great thing to get you cleaned up if you've got somewhere to go after that. Uh, again, these wet ones wipes are absolutely awesome. Um, pretty much indispensable if you have kids or a family at all, but I use these all the time, so I keep a few in this kit. So um, another killer item to have here. Let's see, lots of stuff crammed down in here, so I wanna make sure I'm showing off everything. Um, okay, so a few items here. Again, we have more uh, zip ties. Can't go wrong with zip ties. Always killer to have. Um, I keep them literally everywhere. Um, so a few of those. I have, for my little charger here, USB cables for stuff. I have a USB-C cable, I have a little micro USB cable, and I normally have a little lightning cable in here. I think I actually used it the other day, and I've not put in it back yet. So let's uh, let's keep digging and see what else we can find in here. Um, this is one my wife always makes fun of me for, but you know sometimes you get fast food and they forget to like give you any silverware or anything to eat it with. So this is a titanium spork. It weighs nothing, super, super strong, but um, if you want to spork it in style, this is the tool of choice for you. So fun to have. Got some little sturdy swizzle stick things here, just in case, you never know. Again, you can find all sorts of uses for this stuff. It's more, like I said, it's a MacGyver kit, so you kind of want to have stuff rather than not have it. So a makeshift straw if, if you need one, and this actually also pairs with that water filter I showed earlier um, to make sure you get water that way. So that's an item that's useful for that. And then we still have stuff in here, guys. We still have two other pockets behind this, which is why I love this uh, VanQuest bag so much. So we have some hand warmers, um, which are a killer accessory to keep around. Always something that's in my glove box too, but you never know when hand warmers can make a really miserable cold day um, just a little bit better. So a little two pack there, handy to keep around. Um, takes care of a lot of problems. These little eye cloth things, if you saw the mini kit, uh, you saw one of these there as well, but absolutely awesome for cleaning screens, um, for cleaning up your phone if you have an iPad or anything like that. Even the little center console of your car, that's something I've used off and on. Uh, again, I don't have glasses, but it's a great item to have for that. Um, a little tiny microfiber cloth, uh, same purpose there. Uh, let's see what else we got back here. 
There's a lot of stuff back here. I forgot about it, actually. Okay, so we have a little uh, Fresnel lens. I think that's how you say it. Uh, so a tiny little magnifying glass. You can start a fire that way. You can use it to read text and stuff, obviously. All sorts of uses for a magnifying glass, but that's a pretty large one here. Just about perfect for this kit. Um, a little chunk of tinfoil. Again, all sorts of purposes you can think of for tinfoil, from signaling to just laying down a surface that's kind of waterproof or something if you need to work. This is great. This is a pretty good amount to have really tightly compacted here. So something good to have. Same thing, I've got a big um, Ziploc or zipper bag uh, if you need to contain stuff or keep something waterproof. These little towel tabs are great. You saw these uh, for my mini kit as well, but just exposing the water and they expand, great for scrubbing stuff down. Uh, it's a great option to have um, there. I think there's another one. Yeah, that's another one down in here as well. And then I believe the last thing in that section is some uh, tweezers there. If you're working with electronics or have tiny little things you need to pick up, um, a little bit more robust than the, scissor, or the tweezers I showed in the mini kit. Just a good item to, item to have around there. So let me make sure, yeah, that's everything from that pocket. All right, so we have one final little pocket here. Um, so we've got um, a ferro rod, a tiny little ferro rod. Again, I'm trying to keep this thing super lightweight. This whole thing only weighs about four pounds, three or four pounds, believe it or not. But a little thing, if you need to start fire and strike it, if that bick runs out of juice, this thing will last a long, long time. So um, along the lines of that, I have these tiny, itty bitty little, um, Let's see, Baddest Bee Fire Fuses is the brand. Uh, you can find these on Amazon in a lot of different forms, but little uh, tiny fire starters that will burn a long time. If you need to actually start a fire fire, not just light a candle, a great little uh, th thing to have in there. I believe they're waterproof as well. So we have, um, of course, some simple uh, gloves here. Just your typical latex or whatever material these are type gloves. You can get at Harbor Freight. Always handy to have. You never know when you don't want to get your hands gross, so it's just good to have that sort of thing. I think we're coming down to our final items here. So I've got a little small dust mask. I think I packed this pre-pandemic, so this isn't uh, COVID rated or anything like that, but a little mask you can throw on that can keep you from inhaling stuff is always good to have. Um, and then we have a few more uh, pairs of gloves just in case. So I believe that is absolutely everything in this kit, guys. Um, last time I checked, I think this is somewhere between 40 and 50 different items. Um, but like I said, I like to call it my MacGyver kit because it's something that I try to think of every possible scenario where I could pack something small that would make it better and put it in this kit. Um, and this cool little pouch from VanQuest um, really solved that problem for me. So a ton of fun to put together. And I hope it was fun for you watching all this stuff as well because um, I had a lot of fun putting together these kits. So yeah, that's my um, everyday carry stuff. That's my mini kit and that's my uh, MacGyver kit. Hey, I hope this video has been helpful to you. Uh, if you want to get any of this awesome gear that I've showed off in this video, um, these companies make some killer stuff. Go check out everything on their website. But I'll also try to put absolutely everything I talked about in this kit uh, links down in the description of the best prices I can find it in case you want to start building your kit um, on your own. So I hope that helps you. Uh, if you like the video, make sure you hit that like button. It does help our channel out a ton. And subscribe if you want to see more outdoorsy EDC stuff like this. We'll see you next time.